Princess Kate reportedly confronted Prince Harry and claims he betrayed royals. Kate Middleton ended up confronting Prince Harry and this was allegedly a private conversation with Prince Harry and she expressed her feelings that he actually betrayed the royal family. This all went down by the way just before the Queen's funeral in 2022. The royal family drama continues. It doesn't look like it's going to end anytime soon guys. According to nowtolove.com during the late Queen Elizabeth the second's funeral. The Princess of Wales, Kate Middleton, walked between her husband and his estranged brother, Prince Harry. Kate Middleton reportedly confronted Prince Harry and claimed he betrayed the royal family just before Queen Elizabeth II's funeral. The reports go on to suggest that Kate continued to grow tired of Prince Harry due to his memoir spare as well as media appearances which she found really hurtful. And during all these moments, Prince Harry repeatedly criticized the royal family and in response, Kate reportedly confronted him just hours before the funeral. Kate knew this would be the only time she could speak to Harry before he closed himself off from the family again. One insider reportedly said this, Kate knew this would be the only time she could speak to Harry before he closed himself off from the family again. After all, with so much going on between them, there was going to be zero chance at the actual ceremony. Sources also stated that Kate aimed to communicate to Harry the extent of the hurt caused by his actions and how it created a rift between him and his brother. I do think it's incredible how strong and how you've been able to to cope already. And although his brother, Prince William, wasn't part of this secret conversation that Kate had with Harry, it was mentioned that he had given his approval for Kate to address his brother in this manner. In addition to this, here is what an insider specifically said. Kate never thought in a million years that Harry would hurt his own family like this. Harry and Kate were once so tight and she can't forget that. It feels like she's also lost a brother in all this mess and she wanted to ask Harry Harry one very simple question. Why did you betray us? Reportedly, Kate had numerous questions about Harry's upcoming memoir at the time, Spare, and sought straight answers during what was said to be her only chance for a private conversation with him for a considerable time. Now, the sources claimed that Kate aimed to connect emotionally with Harry, recalling a time when he actually sought her advice. And this highlights the perceived change in him, where he's no longer confiding in Kate, he's just going solo. Now, fast forward, recently, Kate Middleton, who is the future queen consort, was seen in full army uniform during an official visit to Robertson Barracks at Swanton Morley in Norfolk. And Kate, who was appointed colonel in chief of the first queen's dragoon guards, or the QDG, by King Charles in August of 2023, engaged in various activities during the visit, including flying a drone, awarding medals to servicemen and women, and promoting promoting the regimental mascot pony. She appeared to be enjoying the visit, smiling as she interacted with families and regiment members. So it looks like Kate is still going full force as a royal, even though she has decided to take a break from many of her duties to focus on her children for a certain period of time. But she loves the royal life and she's all about it. And it's clear and seeing why she would feel so hurt by Harry and what he's done and what he's said and why she would want to confront him in the way that she did. Doesn't seem like her efforts have made a difference though because Harry and his wife Meghan show zero signs of actually mending their strained relationship with the British royal family and they haven't really apologized at all. They feel 100% justified in what they did. And reports have said in the past that Kate has been working behind the scenes to try to fix and mend the family relationship. And now this new report is coming out saying that she actually confronted him before the queen's funeral. So she's been doing this for quite a while. And yeah, it just looks like nothing seems to be working and this royal family rift is still prevalent. What was hard to get over was being blamed for something that not only I didn't do, but that happened to me. It's time to spill some royal tea. Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle's feud is way worse than you thought, and this revelation about their royal rift 
will shock you. While the tabloids love to pit Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle against one another, they're both valued members of the royal family. The newly released book, Endgame, Inside the Royal Family and the Monarchy's Fight for Survival, royal expert Omid Scobie revealed that the Princess of Wales had a rather physical reaction to hearing her sister-in-law's name. Yep, apparently Kate has jokingly shuddered at the mere mention of Meghan. Yikes. The British journalist also claims that the two have had almost zero direct communication in years and no plans to reconcile. I think it's really important for people to understand the truth. I, I would hope that she would have wanted that corrected. Omid also touches on an infamous fight between Meghan and Kate. In 2017, it seemed like they got along famously. However, speculation about pre-wedding issues surfaced a year later when British tabloids claimed that Meghan had left Kate in tears. It was a really hard week of the wedding and she was upset about something, but she owned it and she apologized. In the book, he writes that Kate watched this unfold in silence as the media ran wild with it. Now, Prince Harry's memoir, Spare, also dropped some major bombshells about his life, the royal family, and the rocky relationship with his brother, Prince William. But it also gave us some insight into this very heated exchange between their respective partners. Prince Harry's tell-all memoir, Spare, hits shelves on January 10th. And this book is filled with bombshells. There wasn't much information on what actually happened until Harry and Meghan addressed the fight during their controversial tell-all interview with Oprah. The Duchess of Sussex revealed that the opposite had actually occurred. So fast forward to 2023 and more details about this he said, she said incident have come out straight from Prince Harry himself in his memoir. So in preparation for the royal wedding, Harry says that Kate had expressed concerns about Princess Charlotte's bridesmaid's dress, describing it as too big, too long, and too baggy. If you love me, you don't have to hate her. And if you love her, you don't need to hate me. Adding that it even brought her own daughter to tears while trying it on. Poor girl, we have all been there. Megan then apparently replied with, can you take Charlotte to have it altered as the other moms are doing? Which Kate shut down, insisting on having it completely remade as alterations wouldn't be enough to save the dress. Despite Kate eventually having the dress altered, the Duke of Sussex returned home to find Megan on the floor sobbing. The next day, Kate apparently apologized and made amends by bringing over flowers and a card. So a much different story than what the media was reporting at the time. During Megan's interview with Oprah, she also said that everyone in the institution knew it wasn't true, adding that she wasn't sharing this information as a slight to Kate, but to make sure people understood the truth. Of course, there's always two sides to every story, so we still haven't gotten a full picture of what actually happened. Um, you know, my brother and I love each other. I love him deeply. There has been a lot of pain between the two of us, especially the last six years. Kate Middleton is really working hard for the royal family and being a real royal right now. She is engaged in working behind the scenes to facilitate communication between Prince William and Harry. And she's offering a lot of support to King Charles and other family members who are just straight up tired of the ongoing conflicts. According to a royal biographer, the Princess of Wales, Kate Middleton, is actively working to mend the fractured relationship between the two brothers. And in addition with her work to reconcile the brothers, Kate has also been instrumental in coordinating visits from the king to spend time with his grandchildren. And uh, all I've tried to do here is to, is to see if I could produce something that uh, warmed the heart and uh, Fed the soap. Reportedly, Kate stands as the sole member of the royal family actively contributing to the resolution of tensions between the two brothers, as highlighted by a royal biographer in an interview with the Express US. And this biographer, Robert Jobson, he's the author of Our King Charles III, The Man and the Monarch Revealed. He commended Kate's efforts, stating that she is actively attempting to bridge the gaps within the family. And Robert Jobson, he had this to say in his own words, I'm not sure how much dialogue there is with William and Harry at the moment. I think the only person that is helping the situation is Catherine who is doing a brilliant job. First of all, when the king wants to see his grandchildren, for example, it's important to say that a lot of it has been through Catherine. But William and Harry, it's a difficult one. I think as brothers, they are more likely to get on the phone and have a conversation. Nevertheless, despite Kate's persistent efforts, 
there is a lack of trust that still continues to persist among the warring members of the royal family. The situation reached a new low following comments made by the Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry, in his recently published memoir, Spare, that was released earlier in 2023. Within the book's pages, Harry recounts an alleged physical confrontation between himself and his elder brother, Prince William, during which William reportedly pushed him to the ground. And on top of that, Prince Harry, he details claims of William referring to Meghan as difficult, rude, as well as abrasive. Squashes this idea that somehow my wife was the one that destroyed the relationship between these two brothers. And then Robert Jobson, he also added this. It's quite possible that one of them might pick up the phone to have a rant, but who's gonna pick up the phone on the other end? It was never a case of I don't want to talk about it with you. I just don't know how to talk don't about talk it. About because that's not going to achieve anything. There's also a lack of trust at the moment between all the members of the family and Harry about where this information is going because a lot of stuff has appeared in print by him. I think that the royal family are going to have a period of calm where they actually can start to build some form of trust. I don't believe it'll ever come back to what it was before. Now, this strain existing between Harry and Meghan and William and Kate has definitely cast a shadow over other members of the royal family as well. Like, for example, the author even noted that the ongoing feud has been really stressful for Beatrice and Eugenie, individuals with whom Harry maintains close bonds. Queen Elizabeth II is speaking out following Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. And she claims that Prince Harry added unnecessary misery to the final months of his grandmother's life. A recent report has unveiled an inappropriate request made by Harry and Meghan to the late Queen Elizabeth II. And you're not going to believe what they requested, like the audacity. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are asking for charity donations instead of traditional wedding gifts. Now, the story revolves around the home that Queen Elizabeth gave Harry and Meghan Markle as a gift after their wedding back in 2018. Now, the Queen herself found their request to be straight up inappropriate and firmly turned it down. Apparently not stopping the Queen from giving them a present of epic proportions, an entire house. But to understand the disrespectful nature of their request, like we have to rewind a little bit and take a look at some things. Throughout history, there have been individuals that were really influential and their actions and words shaped the world as we know it today. And they crafted their own narratives during their lifetimes, aiming to leave a lasting impact. And Queen Elizabeth II was one of these figures. Elizabeth, we Westminster. The Queen is crowned, symbol of hope. Queen Elizabeth, guys. Another extraordinary chapter has been written. Queen Elizabeth II, the longest reigning monarch in British history. However, when such a prominent figure passes away, others take on the role of shaping their legacy through the stories and accounts that they share. Queen Elizabeth II has died at 96 years old. These stories can be used to reinforce certain viewpoints or perspectives about the person who passed away. And as time goes on, various stories are brought to light about the late Queen Elizabeth II. This one being one of those stories that recently resurfaced and it concerns her relationship with her grandson, Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle. Harry wrote about how his grandmother tried to understand his decision to leave as a working royal. What sort of a relationship did Harry have with the late monarch? So Queen Elizabeth was known for her generosity, right? And it's reported by the Mirror publication that the couple, Harry and Meghan, initially asked if they could live within the Windsor Castle itself and inquired about the possibility of having their living quarters provided for them after their marriage. Now, the Queen was shocked by this request. She worried about the future of the firm and its survival. It was fascinating to know what she really felt about Megxit, about Harry leaving, to, to learn just how much that disappointed her. And she completely shut it down. Instead, she offered Frogmore Cottage, which is a residence very close to her own, described by the late lady Elizabeth Anson as essentially being in her backyard, her solitude and her privacy. So it was a very close property to Queen Elizabeth II. Also, Lady Elizabeth Anson 
mentioned that the queen had expressed the hopes that the couple would respect it in reference to the cottage that they were gifted, Frogmore Cottage. Meghan Markle wanted to be seen as a princess, which is likely why she and Prince Harry requested to reside at Windsor Castle after they got married. And back then, only the queen and Prince Philip, her husband, had their own private apartments within the castle, while other family members resided in different parts of the castle. Now, Windsor Castle has been the royal family's residence for almost a thousand years, encompassing various properties from grand mansions to cottages. And reportedly, the queen found the Sussexes' request very inappropriate and firmly turned it down. Like, I could just imagine the look on Queen Elizabeth's face when they requested this. Like, even though Meghan and Harry didn't conduct their interview with Oprah where they bashed the royal family publicly at that time, they still had shown signs that they didn't want to be part of the royal family. Harry saying Britain was not safe for his family. And then to make this request, it's like, hmm, kind of a slap in the face of the royal family institution here. We just want to, you know, milk it for all it's worth. We want to live in Windsor Castle with Queen Elizabeth. But hey, Queen Elizabeth is generous, so they were gifted Frogmore Cottage. And some might wonder about the timing of this story resurfacing and the intention behind highlighting a quote attributed to Queen Elizabeth, especially considering the recent events involving the couple being asked to vacate Frogmore Cottage by her son, King Charles. However, the primary concern here is to protect the reputation of Frogmore Cottage and the royals feel like the property shouldn't be tarnished by the type of scandals and controversies that Meghan and Harry's actions have generated. So it's like, vacate, please, go. You don't even wanna be part of the royal family anyway, so go. 